Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. This is our usual update for the early morning hours of Sunday on our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, this is your opportunity to take a look and see what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South. Check out our website here, again, wreg.com slash weather for more information, and of course on all these social media networks as well. Forecast, if you've never Ever seen this before check out the information here again current conditions in the downtown Memphis metro area mid to upper 60s at this time with calm winds and no chance of rainfall being seen so far today's forecast here in the red bar back in the lower 80s for high temperatures and then temperatures tonight back into the lower 60s for the metro area could be a few mid to upper 50s out there as we go into very early tomorrow morning especially in areas away from Shelby County could even be a few lower 50s out there but it's looking like more of the possibility of seeing some uh, fairly cool conditions out there not going to be seen in the mid-south over the next few days as winds turn back around out of the south and west and that's really going to help to keep the temperatures up by just a little bit so warmer today for mom's day happy mother's day to my mom back into uh, topeka kansas if she's watching this for this morning on the uh, internet up that direction henry sanders welcome to the show and thanks for joining us and stick around for more on the forecast here coming up in just a little while let's take a look and see what's going on for the forecast the background picture that you see here uh, germantown parkway this is the uh, saint francis camera this is from a couple of days ago when the rainfall was moving on through and the camera looks like it's uh, delayed by just a little bit so definitely not broadcasting the current conditions out there but for the today those icons that you see up there that's what we're going to be taking a look at with temperatures rising pretty rapidly through the mid to upper 70s by the time we work our way through about mid to late morning rest of the day today again temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s to around the lower 80s so very nice for mom out there whether she wants to take a nap out in the hammock or go play around a golf or go out for dinner with you guys whatever it is you're doing for today to celebrate Mother's Day. It looks like a beautiful day for outside, or if you're just getting outside and taking care of that yard work. No, I don't have any problem in reminding you because I've got things to do myself. So we're all in this together, so let's make certain we uh, help each other out on stuff like that. Rest of the day, again, winds light out of the south, mainly at five miles per hour or less on the red bar that you see up there, and chances for rainfall just not seen anywhere across the Mid-South for right now. Current conditions as we broadcast from just past News Channel 3 day break at just about 8 o'clock Sunday morning. We've got again temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s around Germantown and again the view from just north of Germantown High School looking back to the area in and around portions of the area close to 240 in Poplar. No problems at all with visibility but we do have again some patchy light haze and fog out across some sections of the area. Rhodes College kind of difficult to see but the buildings that you can see a lot of sunshine striking the east southeast corners of the buildings and plenty of blue skies out there. Tim B thank you very much for the webcam from Mineral Wells Mississippi. A lot of sunshine and some very green conditions in the trees out there on the weather underground system. Weather bug cameras from Windy Country Club showing the golf carts lined up and ready to go and everybody out and about on the golf course in the next couple of hours should be a beautiful day for a round of golf coming up. More of our weather bug cameras available at wreg.com slash webcams. Currently seeing again some cool conditions out into the mid-south. Let me readjust this here just for a little bit so we can get everybody back into the picture. Temperatures through mid to late morning, mid to upper 70s and and as we go into later on this afternoon, again, numbers back in the mid to upper 70s to lower 80s for high temperatures. So a beautiful Sunday coming up. Sunset temperatures in the lower to mid 70s. News Channel 3 at 10 back in the 60s and 70s. And tomorrow morning, about the time the kids are getting up, getting ready for school, or you're getting ready for work, temperatures in the upper 50s to around the lower 60s. Then as we go into tomorrow, late morning, upper 70s to lower 80s, and then getting into the mid to upper 80s as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening, cooling off toward News Channel 3 at 10. Numbers going back into the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s. Kelly Johnson Stewart, great week for farmers. Not much of a problem seen here. Likewise, again, for the rest of the week, we should be seeing just like today, plenty of sunshine for Mother's Day and beyond. Doesn't look like a problem out there, again, for a lot of what's going on in the Mid-South area, but it is going to be getting a little bit warmer. Winds starting out over the northeast for the last couple of days as that last storm system spun its way on through. Winds are going to be turning back around to the southeast and 
and that's going to be bumping the numbers up into the course of the next couple of days. So we should see again the potential of some much warmer conditions out there as we go into the early part of this next week. Now we also see as we go into later on this next several days the chances of anything involving rainfall are just not showing up today or for the early portion of this next week but we are starting to see again more potential for rainfall coming up as we go into the late week hours around Thursday, Friday and it looks like into Saturday as well. So outdoor activities graduation practices, graduation ceremonies, a lot of those coming up, field day, field trips for the kids, uh, anything going on out and about in the Mid-South area, need to make certain that you pay attention to the forecast as we see again the potential for more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there late this week into early next weekend. That's going to be the main threat out there for anything involving problems like that. Want to check out more of our forecast available from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Get the app, whatever app you use, uh, whatever platform you use, whatever you use in the way of cell phone or tablet, search WREG Weather and get more information about the weather app out there. If you can't watch online or on air, listen to the forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. I'll have the details throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And of course, join me on all these social media networks as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. Once again, happy Mother's Day to my mom back in Topeka and also to all the other moms out there. Rest of the day looks good. We'll have another check of your forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. And don't forget again to check in at WREG.com slash weather for more information on the forecast throughout the rest of the day and throughout the course of the rest of the week. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a quick weather update, our video weather blog for the day, weather overtime, and a lot more to come with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day.